Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has ridiculed opposition leader Peter Dutton's nuclear policy, claiming it will lead to economic catastrophe. Joining me live is former Labor Senator Graham Richardson. Good to see you, Richard. I hope you're doing well. Labor and the union movement have been criticised after an anti-nuclear scare campaign with cartoon memes, and we can show you uh, a few of those on screen. Uh, images of three-eyed fish and nuclear wasteland, some posted by senior Labor ministers. What's your thoughts on, on this scare campaign? Well, I think, um, you know, nuclear power scares anybody. Uh, I don't think it, you need to run a scare campaign necessarily to get people scared of it. Uh, nobody will ever forget Three Mile Island. Uh, and, of course, you've, you've had Fukushima since. So no, no one is going to just welcome nuclear power and say, isn't this wonderful? Uh, it can be dangerous. Uh, I have no doubt that technology is improving all the time. Um, but at this stage of the game, I'd still be very wary of it. But just in terms of the scare campaign, I mean, um, Anthony, uh, Anthony Albanese even said Peter Dutton was taking the radioactive sledgehammer to the Australian economy. We know generally that modern nuclear reactors are, are generally safe. There hasn't been an incident in a, in a pretty long time. But just on, on the tone that Labor will continue to carry to the next election, do you think that it has a chance of backfiring? I doubt it. Um, you know, look, you know, there, there aren't many things in politics that can't backfire. That's the first point. Uh, but no, I think um, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a cohort of people, and I think it's probably still the majority, who don't see the need for nuclear power at this point. And so if you campaign on that basis, you should do reasonably well. Labor has been accused of undermining the AUKUS submarine program by running this scare campaign because they are nuclear as well. Uh, the shadow minister questioned how Australia's AUKUS allies would react when seeing government ministers mock nuclear technology, uh, implying that it is unsafe and, and claim Australia lacks capability to make the technology work. Is that true in, in your opinion? And do you think that our AUKUS allies care about this scare campaign? No. Of course they don't. Um, they'll be sleeping soundly in their beds tonight. They won't be worried about this. Look, you know, you, I suppose that if I'm the opposition, I'm going to run scare campaigns on whatever I can. And governments occasionally get the opportunity to do it as well. And I think um, I think Dutton's certainly given Labor ground uh, to expect that they can have a crack at him over this, and they will. We know the states are against it. Victoria, Queensland, Labor premiers say they will do whatever they can to block nuclear, just as a couple of examples. Will Peter Dutton have to romp in such a large majority to scare the states into complying for there to be any chance of his nuclear vision becoming a reality? Yeah, and there's Buckley's of that. So um, it's not going to be a reality. Uh, it's just a, a furphy. Um, it's, a, I suppose, a diversion. But it's nothing more than that. It's not real hard policy. And that's what he's going to have to come up with if he wants to win an election. Now, we've just got some breaking news that is coming through um, the skynews.com.au app. Labor has launched a special campaigning fund to fuel an anti-nuclear fake news blitz as it begs members for cash to finance the, muse, the news. Would this be any different to any other major issue leading up to an election? Well, we don't normally uh, see a, a party going out and asking for money on a particular policy. Uh, that's unusual, um, I'd have to say, even unprecedented. Uh, I don't think I've heard of it before off the top of my head. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, indicative of the fact that um, Dutton's given them something to chase. Uh, uh, so far, he's been the small target, uh, but now that target's getting a little bit bigger and it's painted right in the middle of his back. Well, it's certainly interesting to chat with you about this issue. Graeme Richardson, thanks for your time today. Pleasure.